Growing concerns tonight over Zika, and now one Johnson County city is taking action to prevent the virus from spreading. And it's actually the first in the metro to do so. New here at 10 o'clock, 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall found out what exactly they are doing. Dia. Yeah, Mike and Rianne, and Prairie Village is really taking a proactive approach to this thing. Workers are using these small, just $2 tabs with the hopes that it'll help stop the spread of Zika virus. Each one of these mosquito dunks will treat about 100 square feet. It's I'm simple. Open the pack, drop them in. These are called mosquito dunks, and it's just one way. Prairie Village is hoping to stop mosquitoes and the illnesses they carry. West Nile, Zika virus. Um, just getting bit on, in itself is, is unhealthy. And that's terrifying to think that that could, you know, happen to someone. So, yeah, it's very scary. Meryl Cooper is a local mom who's aware of the risks of Zika, and she's not the only one. My pregnant friends, yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a big concern. I know a bunch of people who've been canceling trips to Mexico or, you know, south, just because just you can never be too safe. Prairie Village Code Enforcement is tossing these rings into standing water. It keeps the mosquito uh, larvae from hatching. Meanwhile, Public Works is taking steps to stop the spread, too. Sealing some cracks and treating some areas along drainage ditches also. This mom is thankful. I mean, I'm happy that they're doing something about it. It's my understanding that's moving this way, so we want to do everything we can to prevent that in our city. I talked to Lee Norman, chief medical officer at the University of Kansas Hospital, and he tells me there have been no known cases of transmission of Zika in either Kansas or Missouri. And in his, I mean, in his site, there would have to be a, a significant increase in the number of people carrying the virus in the metro for it to be considered a major threat. Reporting live in Prairie Village, Dia Wall, 41 Action News.